Century Unified has a really, really big heart and pulse. Uh, it started out uh, predominantly agricultural, small, uh, not a lot of development. However, we've had a lot of growth, a lot of development, a lot of people come our way. And if you were to ask our students what they're most proud of, it's the diversity. I mean, we have a blend of cultures in this district that's just incredible. There's awareness and appreciation for other people that's really bubbling up and is, is pretty unique. It's really important that we make sure that we tap into that connection going from eighth grade to ninth grade. And so some of the work that's coming up for us that's really exciting is to have our eighth grade teachers working with our ninth grade teachers across all of our middle and high school campuses to be able to create just greater coherence and alignments. It's been valuable to even get an insight into you know, ninth grade math, high school math. So getting to see what they see, what their struggles are and how they're very similar and what I can do to help get my students ready for high school has been valuable. I think one of the things that we needed to improve upon was that vertical articulation from eighth to ninth grade and helping them to see and understand how those connections are made that the students that are at El Capitan for eighth grade that feed into Central East, there's a direct correlation to their path there. Once the team recognized its aim and its goal, looking at that DF rate, realizing with the data that we have that that's an area we need to reduce and conversely increase A to G completion and graduation rates for our students, the next step was how are we gonna go about doing that? And one of those approaches that we looked at was to look at um, opportunities for our students to be able to receive feedback, to be able to be retaught, but then reassessed. It's what we've been talking about for years, where retakes are applicable in the real world. It's not about how fast you are. It's not about how good you are that first time. It's about, by the end of this, did you learn the math that I think you, should, you need to know to go on to the next class? Now there's just multiple avenues and multiple ways to get back into the learning that we've been doing. And so if they fall off path, there are multiple ways and multiple entry points that they can come in. And in just that mindset of perseverance and optimism and that growth mindset um, has, been, has been phenomenal to see in the classroom. I was scared that we were, it was gonna be more challenging than eighth grade, but it was about the same and he helped a lot. In most of my classes and all of them, we only can come in one day of the week and he's there all the time and I can always just come in whenever I have questions with homework and stuff. I didn't really care too much about it and I thought I was just like kind of gonna go through the motions kind of but I had Mr. Malnado and he like cares a lot about like how we do. He's willing to help us out as much as we can as long as we're like trying to learn. The instructional practices in the classroom that they have changed are more powerful than the interventions that they have provided after hours. Sometimes you're doing these things in silos. You're doing professional development in silos. You'll go to the professional development and you'll come back and you'll just stay there. But the fact that we're going three times in the year and then we're having these interim meetings to discuss progress and to discuss what our next steps would be. So it's not just administration presenting to the staff. It's an awesome way for professional development to take place. I have um, a majority of Math 1 classes and of course I have students in there who have failed Math 1 in the past. And just even yesterday, they decided that they wanted to retake a test and they aced the test, got 100%. First time they had ever gotten 100% on a math test in their entire life. And they also told us that, man, doing the review and the homework beforehand really helped me with my test scores. Just the change in their attitudes, and I, I told the whole staff this, that you know the smiles you get from students when they thought they couldn't do it, and then all of a sudden they realize, I can actually do this, you know, that's even just one story. There are many, many more.